This is Jared with LoadOrganizer.com. In this tutorial, I just want to break down a couple key features on Load Organizer so you know how to use it and the overall benefits of the site. First off, if you go to the top and just type in LoadOrganizer.com, it'll bring up this screen for your username and password. You'll use the same username and password that you'll use on uh, that you already have created on bulk loads now. So once you enter that, just hit log in. I went ahead and just created a, a load or a contract here, but I'll go ahead and kind of show you how to do that. Up at the top, you'll see the contracts, the carriers, the to-do list, and PC Miler. Um, but up here, you'll go ahead and just add a contract. This will always remember whatever your last uh, contract you made, so it makes it easier that we don't have to re-enter a lot of different information. But you'll just go ahead and enter the contract information, uh, the dates here. You can always change them around. Pickup location. And destination. If I do want, I want to go ahead and change this to St. Louis, Missouri, and I can leave that at Cargill. Again, this is just a demo product. You can type in any commodity in there, and then as far as your rate and your bushels, you can change this any at any time. It'll always remember whatever your last setting was, and even your total bushels loaded. Then over here, the estimated number of loads. If it's a contract with, for example, 20,000 uh, bushels, you can go ahead and put in 22 loads, for example, and equipment that you'll be using, and then the other comments. Uh, this is all internal, straight on loadorganizer.com. If you want, you can even go ahead and post this on to bulk loads now. Again, this info below will be the only thing shown. It won't show you uh, contract numbers, commodities, rates, anything like that. Uh, just the information down here uh, is what will be posted to bulk loads now. But I'll just leave this off for now and hit add contract. It'll take just a little bit to load. And you'll see once it's loaded it'll fall right up here below the other one out of Missouri. As you add uh, contracts from different states it'll separate it by state alphabetically. You can go down below and see uh, a list of or a map of the loads moving on there, the flow of them. So that's a quick way um, to add the contracts. Over to the far right is where you can uh, assign a carrier to the load. You can po go ahead and post it to bulk loads now. You can even view uh, loads as you get a lot of loads on here, a lot of contracts. Uh, you can actually match up loads um, that complement each other um, to uh, build circles for carriers. You can also uh, delete the contracts here. This one I went ahead and added a carrier just to show you. Um, I went ahead and put smart truck line, uh, what we booked it at, and as far as the user that booked it, if we have any insurance, W9 on a file with them. And then I can even send them a confirmation right here. I can click on send email confirmation. We even allow it by text and it'll pull up a little email box with your email and their email. Uh, the subject line, you can change any of this around. This is just an example um, of what it is, the contract number. Um, it even calculates the total number of miles and the rate and all that good stuff. But if you want to go ahead on this uh, contract below, we can add a carrier to it. Just click Assign Carrier. And it'll bring up all the company information. So you'll just need to enter the trucker's name. You can just start typing in the first few letters of the company name. This again, this will pull right out of the FMCSA database. So if I want, I can go ahead and type in and this is just a random carrier, but again, just to show you how it works. And I can go ahead and below, and I can change any of this info if I need to. If you did uh, divert it to a different city, or you got a, a different rate for this carrier, uh, the bushels that they're estimated to load, and the pickup date. Well, once you put the pickup date in there, it'll always default to today's date. Um, their load number will always be the contract number um, dash one. And again, that'll go up um, in numbers as you uh, schedule more loads onto that, uh, along with the product and any other comments. So I just want to go ahead and click assign carrier. And they're assigned to the load. You can see them listed here below. You just click on it once or click on it below. And again, you can go ahead and sign a carrier to that. If you jump up here, you'll see there is a carriers tab. This will list all the carriers that you have in your list. You can even do a search for any of them. Um, again, this is where you'll um, manage uh, their insurance, W9, uh, through here. Uh, your to-do list, this will give you any contracts. 
um, that are getting ready to expire so you just know what contracts need to be worked on as far as getting them filled any insurance that you're missing w9 info and then we do have pc miler up here at the top um, as well so again this is just a brief overview of kind of how load organizer works uh, if you have any questions uh, give us a call anytime at 800-518-9240 we'd also be happy to do a one-on-one -on -one tutorial just to walk you through the site thank you